So definitely there is a link uh, between the irregular meal, high BP and diabetes because all this falls in the lifestyle modifications. Uh. So basically before getting into taking pills uh, or medications, uh, we need to first focus on the uh, diet and lifestyle modifications which is a major thing to prevent diabetes and hypertension in India. Especially the diabetes being the, becoming a major disease in India and it's going to be a global disease in future also. So I would like to say that a proper diet and proper lifestyle uh, practices is a first step to clear the diabetes as well as hypertension. So like a diet, if you follow the simple diet like a, uh, like a, like morning, breakfast, lunch, dinner. So you have to plan the diet accordingly and then you have to take a diabetic meal. Before that you can consult a dietitian. So what all the meals you have taken, what should be avoided in future or everything you can get the consultations. Basically simple is that you have to take more proteins and reduce the carbohydrates and fatty foods. That's all. That's a simple thing. And then along with that you have to go for do regular basic exercise like walking and whichever exercise is comfortable to you you can practice that type 2 diabetes see type 2 diabetes is like there is a definitely like a gender relationship it's more common in females nowadays uh, because of the sedentary lifestyle uh, and there is no uh, proper diet practice there is no proper uh, exercises uh, on the day to day basis uh. and then also stress uh, important factor like leading to females uh, so they have to uh, working women and they have to combat everything like uh, house course work as well as uh, professional all these things uh, accumulate and then then they have to do that uh. so if you practice a proper lifestyle and diet definitely there won't be a, a major discrepancies between the gender see diagnostic test uh, so I, uh, I work in uh, ER like uh, uh, many patients uh, have uh, they don't know they have uh, diabetes at all so the first, uh, when we check the capillary blood glucose, it shows high, CBG high. So that's how we find undetected diabetes, uh, not only in adults, uh, also in children. Uh. So like type 1 diabetes also we are able to diagnose through this. Uh. This is a simple thing uh, that everyone can practice in not only in the hospital but also in the home care center. Personally also we can find out whether we are having diabetes or not. Uh. And then I would uh, prefer, I, I would uh, suggest that uh, uh, everyone should go for a proper master health checkup. It should be a regular health checkup, like every once in a year at least. Uh, or if it is possible, you can go for once in six months to rule out other uh, comorbid illness uh, which is causing you to become a diabetic like uh, hypertension, smoking, uh, obesity and uh, lack of uh, exercise. Uh, all these things will add up on to become a diabetic or a hypertensive uh, patient. So basic thing is only thing is a uh, simple uh, fasting blood glucose level. And then after uh, two hours uh, pro, pro, uh, fast meal like uh, so these two will be uh, basic tests is enough for us and then there is one uh, test HbA1c that is you will uh, detect average uh, blood glucose in the past three months. Uh. So this three thing is a very very important criteria which can be detected on day to day basis uh, or through the master health checkup. Uh. The biggest challenge is that I, uh, like uh, patients coming to ER that not knowing that they are diabetic uh, and they present with coma like diabetic ketoacidosis, all these comes under hyperglycemic emergencies. And so this is the biggest challenge that uh, some they will not accept to uh, take up insulin. When there is a mandatory that you have to take insulin, then they will deny. That is a challenge. Then we have to counsel them. They have to give proper advice to them that uh, this is the mandatory thing you have to go for. So many of them like uh, uh, people like uh, educated, educated people, they are accepting it. But few people know the lay people, they will not accept. So the importance of insulin and everything, we have to explain them detail and then we have to make them to take up the medications and all the other lifestyle practices. Actually, I won't tell that decreasing, actually it's increasing. Like uh, nowadays that awareness of family medicine and then their priority in the community as well as in the uh, national level, it's increasing day by day. The importance is uh, uh, emphasized everywhere. So it is actually growing up. This field is actually it's growing up. So definitely we can't tell it decreasing. It's not, it is definitely increasing only. And then people are slowly coming to know that, uh, see that uh, in olden days, uh, old days like the, there will be a family doctor in each and every place. Uh, but now the family medicine itself is like a family doctor. So we have to be proud that I am a family doctor for you. So what can I help you? 
like that we have to go speak to the person communicate uh, uh, to them and then we have to emphasize the importance of this uh, being of in a family medicine department or in a family medicine field so how we can help them so all these are things going to help the patients as well as uh, to improve our profession also.